It's like always the unfortunate like amount that you have to spend for Kai, like just to keep yourself safe. But it's so necessary. You need that knockdown. Yeah. Good job. Is his timing on the sun cause you see right here, hold on. He get he backs up because he knows he can't control that space anymore. And as soon as you see him like that, he's 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 moving, but he's not going in the air. He just uses a stun edge YRC and he gets him. Let's... Round's so good. Yeah, another another great teleport on a on a stun edge. It's mad hard to use in this matchup. Like, and not getting punished for it. Another delayed. Alright, see if he fixes this. Oh, you can get the close edge afterwards? Okay, that's what he was going for the first time. That's wild. I wonder why it didn't work the first time. Nice. Gonna RC. Good timing on the burst. He knew he, was, he, he had to RC it in order to earn the burst. So, that's totally fine if you're Kai. With that life lead. There was, there was no way that scenario wasn't going to happen, unless it was like the super hardest read. But like when you're, when you're playing, that's totally fine, because you earn that burst. You want to get rid of that burst, and you're already, you have a great situation, so that's totally fine. Two P answer here. What a fucking god. Nice. That was so smart. Oh my god, that was so smart. Alright. Hold on. I need to stop using uh, the 10 second back. Alright. Right here. No way. Alright. So you see, he gets a little bit of meter, right? And then he's shoving him in the corner. And he uses the two P's just to burn all of his meter. So once he's burned all of his meter, man, he's going down. He's, he's in town. Because he can't push him out. 6P throws him out. I was getting a little bit overzealous. That was so smart though, the two P's. Yeah, that's it, man. He's got what seven, six, seven levels now. Just air dashes out. So smart. He wants to get out. He has the meter to do it too, to keep himself safe. That star pressure, man. That's something I'll try. I love star pressure, so that's something I'll do in the matchup a little bit more. That was such a good air-to-air. -air. That's a great idea, and it's gonna get him a level on the way out, too. I mean, that's not gonna matter too much, considering the life lead that he had. He was, like, almost killed, but still. It's a little bit more consistent than doing uh, 6 b Because if he didn't get the counter on the 6 b you basically wouldn't have gotten anything out of it. You wanted to scratch so you can get him out of the corner. Ooh! Yeah, that's as much as you're gonna get. It might have been worth our seeing it, honestly. Cause how much risk did you have? Not much. Okay. No, that's alright. That's right. Just... And he backs up a little bit. That was so that was so good. Look at this. So he's like once he loses all pressure and he's not able to start something without potentially getting counter hit, he just backs up because he has the meter to just keep him in here. I'm just trying to bait out those six Ps with the uh, jumping stun edge. Just totally fine. Once you get them to start second guessing it, then you get some free jump ins. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Well, let's got him in the corner. Dash up stun or charge stun edge. Two Ps, and once again, you see him. He's, he starts using the two keys to uh, to get rid of that little bit of extra meter that he has, and then he does the YRC in order to continue the pressure, trying to bait him out. But he, he only flinches afterwards, still. Nice, got him in the corner. Just goes for 5p. Look at this. This is why Ryan's the best guy in the world. 
Look at this confirm. Gets everything. Has the hard knockdown. That's damage on Raven. That's not easy. Yeah. Uses the dang angle to keep him in the corner. He'll be okay with that. I don't know how I feel about that, but man. Who's swinging? I should figure out who's who he's playing against. Hold on. I think he was playing against... Uh, oh, we don't know. Okay. I didn't think so. Man, Ryan's, he's so... He's so ready to just, like... His idea of risk award is so good. I think is why he makes it he makes himself such a good Kai. Because he's not a Kai that can place completely solid and just takes no risks. But he definitely takes the appropriate amount of risks. He didn't get gripped out of Blitz. Huh. I did not know Throne Ball. in here. This song's so sick. Yeah, gold burst to try to keep him in the corner. I'm sure he wanted blue burst, but he got gold anyway. It's cool. I'll take it. Already got him in the corner again. Might as well spend the meter. Because you get the burst for it. Ryan's doing really good here because what he's doing is just constantly resetting pressure because he doesn't want him to have any way in getting levels. Look at this. Hold on. Uh, I didn't click on this. Uh, give me a second. All right. So you're gonna watch. You're gonna watch this Raven get a shit ton of levels, right? He R C S that. So he R C S that and goes for it because he's just gonna keep getting this pressure here. Everything he's doing here is just to keep the pressure going. So once he keeps the pressure going, you reset. He reset the meter, and now he's going to make him bleed. Ah, uh, that's so unfortunate. That sucks. That's so smart, though. He altered his pressure so that Raven doesn't have the levels. So now he doesn't have the levels for any of this. Nice anti-air. Yeah, he's going for, he's going for that 2P pressure on Wake Up. Uh, whenever he has meter, because he knows that the opponent's going to commit to green guarding. So he's trying to burn as much FD meter as he possibly can, because if he just goes for the 6H, he's just going to get he's just going to get pushed out. At least when he does the other, he gets still gets FD meter, and he's still around for, uh, for pressure. This is going to hurt a lot. Ends it? Yeah, nice. 
Ooh, okay. We're going to extend it. I didn't think he was going to extend it, but that also got a lot closer than I thought it was going to. thinking here like unless you're a lord that's pretty safe like so you have this pressure going right normally ravens are going to go into that low afterwards but if they're a lord they're canceling that into the command up grab i don't think that's happening in fact I'll, i'm gonna do that every time until the raven actually up grabs me out of it Delayed air dash, man. He's he's actually caught up so many times with delayed air dash. It's wild, especially considering the low option actually gets you. the The low option will get you less damage because almost everything except two S combo starter is gonna prorate. If you two D, then it's gonna prorate, but you're also not gonna get as a uh, ton of damage out of it. A shit ton of meter, man. His use of blurs, uh, blitz have been really good, but maybe not on that side. Right? He had too much meter to deal with. Uh, he had too much meter. He was able to deal with it really easily. That's the first time he's gone for rock command grab. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd have to think that's the first time because Ryan responded in the exact way that the Raven player would want. That burst was getting to the point of being scary. Nice air throw. Yeah, man. No meter to deal with this. You can't push him out. This is so hard. Delayed air dash. Good block. And just goes for the throw afterwards, man. He's so smart. I wouldn't have thrown. I would have continued the pressure. That's why I'm bad. Yeah, she kill. Good shit. Nope. I'm not on here. Are we playing? Sin. Is this Umacha? Yeah. Alright, Umacha and then Teresa. Oh, sick. There's some Teresa matches in here. I can't wait, actually. Alright, I'm actually really excited to watch this because I don't like playing against Sin. But I still think the matchup's 5-5. God, this scenario happens to me so often, and it's just like, like where you just have to sit and block. And just being calm with that much risk gauge on, so scary. 2H start, yeah. If you're just gonna get a 2H starter, man, it's totally worth bursting that. Especially because he was gonna keep him in the corner, too. That's so unfortunate. What do you, what do you get the jump in with? Slash, yeah. I think he just reacted late. Explains the counter hit. How did he not get slid underneath? That's wild. If I YRC stun edge from that far out, I would have gotten elk hunted every time. Raw 5D. I'll do it. Full meter on the both of them. Oh, he's gonna get the combo off that? That's so wild. RC. Yeah. Oof. Are you serious? Ryan. I feel like right here, though, Umacha, where was it? Where he gets the combo? He gets the trade off it? Okay. He gets here. Right? And that hits for whatever... That doesn't hit for whatever reason. 
It's super weird, but that's also Kai. Kai is an odd hitbox, so that happens, like, not... That's not, like, the wildest thing that's ever happened. So that's a good block there. But, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe there just isn't time to react to this. Maybe there isn't time to uh, RC this and continue the combo. Man, why doesn't this combo? I'd be so mad. I'm pro I'd be pretty mad if I didn't combo. Because you could have done literally anything with that much that much meter. Nice. It's like freaking automatic on the FRS counter hits. Automatic. It's so annoying because I'm so bad at reacting to that. Sorry, I was, uh, I'm just doing something on the side. He's got, he's got the guard cranked. No pickup. That's so lucky. There you go. Is he gonna RC it because, yeah. He RC'd it because he knew he could get the burst out of it, and he had a, some meter cranked, so if he didn't, he probably could have killed. This is one of my favorite songs in the so in, in the game too. Just raw two D. Ugh, I hate that. That's fine. That isn't the whole point of that. The whole point of that burst is for him to be on low foot food and shove him towards the corner. Nice. That's as much as you're gonna get. RC. Yeah. Goes for a 3H starter? Dude, that's why I went for the 3H starter. That's so sick. Okay, I need to I need to do that actually. I would have gone for one rep. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't agree with um using stun edge wire C in this matchup. It's just not good. It's so easy to get slid under. I can think of very, like, few instances like that where it's okay because they have to sit and block it. But, man, he's just so solid. Here comes a dead devil. Alright, let's skip forward. Oh, Raven. Raven's back. Sick. There you go. He learned from he learned from a while ago that he's just going for the two D or the two P pressure whenever he has metered FDM out. So he pressed buttons right afterwards because he was trying to reset. Raven learned. Nice. You know, like Ryan's like most of his game is trying to go for this right here. He's trying to be dead angle there. Yeah, most of Ryan's game is trying to keep this, uh, trying to control the space that Ryan, or the Raven wants to play in, and then trying to get him to make a mistake after that. It's really good versus, versus Raven. It's hard versus, like, players, like, a uh, Sin, but this is a good game plan. This is something I need to adapt to my game. There you go. He's going for a lot of stars. And I think he just wants him like if you get one counter hit uh star, you might win the game. That is probably one of the best starters Kai can ask for in in uh for combos. But you rarely see it because it doesn't happen often. Bursa try to keep him in the corner. Doesn't get much off it. First DP we've seen, Ballsy doesn't get punished for it. That's because you're Ryan. If that was me, I would have gotten hella punished for it. Yeah. 
This is, it's, it's something that I do, or I don't do, that Ryan does, is that he understands that when you're playing as a Kai, you're just going to get FD'd out. That's just going to happen. You have to accept it. So take the meter you can from them, and then, you know, play some more neutral. Have to jump low. He's got full meter, though, so this might kill. Yeah, there you go. Charger. One second. One second. I need to get charger for my phone. Hold on. There you go. I don't know why I dropped all those. That's unfortunate. Alright, here, I'll back up like two. That should be enough. Yeah, he's just backing up there, making sure that, that a Raven's in the corner. Actually, can I point that out? Alright, that jump in right there, you see that range that he's that he's jumping in on? It's really good because it's super hard to 6P this. The, the way that I wish I could like pull out a hitbox. Actually, can I pull out a hitbox? Hold on, let me see. Uh loop F2 Kai. I wonder if this has a uh, automatically puts you towards the hitboxes. I don't know if it does. Jump H. It does not. Okay, actually, wait. Does the frame data? Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get this. Click. I can't, never mind. Just believe me. That right there, like that timing on the jump in for or that uh spacing for the two H is, is or the jump H is really smart. It's really hard for for the way that his two S or his uh six P works, Ravens. Really hard to contest that. So you see a lot of like uh just regular jumps and neutral jump a uh jump H. Nice, good confirm. Dash up charge stun edge. Nice. RCs. That should be enough. I would have just gone into an air combo and uh or like just a jump slash and the ride the lightning, but why not? That works too. Dash. He's this first time he's gone for it since they've played. Wait. I just want to see what he got. I wasn't paying attention for like a fourth of a second. That's an E combo. Gets you that knockdown. Shh. 
Ugh, missed the micro dash. I hate that. <laughs> Just gets that 4P poke. He definitely with meter, he could have gotten more. Don't know why he didn't. It would have gotten him out of this pressure, too. Slide. OTG? Yeah, there you go. Ryan's so sick. It's a different Raven? Oh, no, it's a... Yeah. There you go. Double overhead, good block. Nice. I think he was trying to side switch. Hold on, let me see. No, I, th I don't think he. I think it's just going for regular mix up. Just really well. RC is so he can keep the pressure going. He's got that wrist gauge. Hi, yes! That's an awful burst. You want to burst during these uh, DPs. Dude, Ryan's so sick. That, that dude, exec that was an execution. That timing. That's all. But you'll be you'll be fine with that. I mean, he was just trying to wait for him to make a mistake, like just do a a quick air dash or something like that. I think he was ready for like a six P. Good back dash. Yeah, once they're on the ground like that, I don't think there's much reason not to back dash on his on Raven's Oki. Okay. Like at worst, you might get air hit with like a close S or a far S or something like that. Nice, look at this. Oh my god, this was so sick. Alright, goes for the pressure afterwards, right? One more time. It's pushed out, look at that. Look at, oh my god, hold on, I backed up too much. Let's see if I can pause it in time. Look at this, back dash. Does the pressure. He knows exactly how far that's going to push out. Right here. One more time. Goes for it. Knows exactly how far that's gonna push out. Look at that whiff. Ah, oh, that's why is Ryan so godlike? This is so like he knows exactly how far that's gonna push out, and then baits the two S. That's so sick. God damn it. That was so cool. It's a throw. Yeah, Ryan's not a masher in, in, uh, in block. So, he'll, uh, you'll get away with that. Alright. I like that. Instead of going for, uh, oh, did I accidentally pause it too? Instead of going for mid-screen Oki here, he goes for the slide. And then just goes for the dash-up charge stun edge so that you can, uh, just push him towards the corner. Yeah, see, so he's not a masher, he's just willing to down back like that. Dead angle. No counter it. This is really scary stun edges. I wouldn't be very happy with that, but at the same time, there's not much you can do about it. At that situation, you just had to spend it. Good mash out. That was smart. The way that, uh, the way that Ryan approaches pressure, that was a good read. That was, that was a great timing on the air dash. He was trying to run out. That wasn't that wasn't the worst idea. He was trying to run out because he got the close S and he was trying to get out of the corner. 
or not the closest, the stun edge. A stun edge. Well, let me let me go back because I was, I was trying too hard on what I was trying to say. Yep. See, he does that stun edge to bait out the six P again. And this way, when he gets another jump in like this, you can just uh, when he finally gets that jump H, he can reset the he gets free reset on the pressure. Hold on. Got him here. Just whiffing that 2H. I think he's maybe trying to press a 2H or something like that. Then he's just going to say delay your dash. He's too good. Zoom with Chai again? Yeah, okay, it is. It's like, what do you do? You just have to sit in down bag versus this character. Worst feeling ever. You get the confirm into close, uh, far S and it's too far to get a hard knockdown. Dude, that was some good recognition. I totally would have gone to the stun dipper anyway. Or uh, not stun dipper, greed sever. That might have not connected, so. No clue. Good leap. Look at this honest Kisuke mashup. Both players just down backing. The honesty. Oh, he had to burst. That was going to kill him. And then he went for bull bash afterwards. Why? You had almost full meter. Okay, this is, this is what I'm saying. Alright. Come on. Let me... Oh, actually, I wanted to see that real quick. One second. I'm going back to this. Okay, the, the, I, I was trying to remember how far the, the risk was gauged, or the risk was um, cranked. It was pretty high, so that that uh, JD mix-up was worse. Though. And then I missed what I wanted to go over. There's no reason to go for this bull bash here. So he gets himself out of the corner, does a great 2H, and then there's no reason to go for this bull bash here, because... With that, with he has meter, so there, so there's this option right here of going for that stun edge YRC. But also, you could have just gone for uh, elk hunt, and if you went for elk hunt, RC'd it, or if you went for um, just you know just regular elk hunt and then into beat driver RC into some pressure. You would have not only gotten like a lot of that meter back and still had fifty percent, but you also would have gotten rid of all the risk gauge that was on you, and then you would have been able to continue your pressure. Instead, you got that. The only thing I don't like about this is that was too close. The only thing I don't like about this is that Ryan starts this off with a 2k instead of going up for like a close S or something like that, because it's going to prorate the combo. And it might have killed, actually. If you went for like a max damage combo, that might have killed. But, whatever. Yeah, see. No, I mean, see, that he lost. He could have, he could have, uh, could have done something about it. The challenge after trades, just dash up 2D. Why not? Nice pressure. His use of his use of 6H is much better than I've seen almost anybody use it, barring maybe Ein. But Ein's like a guard crank god. That's why I play him. I play like him. <laughs> Using. Does he know this is gonna kill? <gasps> he thought that was gonna kill. Okay, so this is this is great. In the charge blitz. That was that was sick. I'm not gonna lie. Please don't have this bite your bite you in the butt. Oh, he might be dead. <gasps> oh, he had to eat. That sucks. 
Wait, is there a combo he could have gone for here? No, he had no he had no E. I'm so sad. I'm sad for him. Look at that. I'm trying to think if going for RTL would have been worth it there. He might not have been, have been able to eat. Nah, I think he played that right. Nice. Good. I'm so mad because Ryan's so smart. Just defends it. Was just defending it anyway. As in, like, I could have comboed, but it didn't, and I'm going to just just defend it anyway. Because obviously they're going to go into a beat driver afterwards. Or he could have gotten lucky and either way had the recognition to do it. Double overhead. I'm okay. I'm okay with getting blitzed out, honestly. <laughs> Just DP'd him. RC. Oh, he's trying to use the seal there. I think you're still plus three on the air seal laser. I don't think it changes. <laughs> it wasn't a bad read. He had a shit ton of meter. I definitely could have seen something like a, a DP Elkhan RC. But that was smart. Hold on, I'm gonna tweet out real quick. Fuck that up. Hold on. Uh, supposed to add this at the end. Okay, we're back in it. Let's go. I'll probably try to go over another person. But, alright, we got the Raven player again. Another confirm and a counter hit. Because I'm a lord. If I, can, if I get those counter hits, I'm like always confirming in a stun edge because I'm baddie. Yeah, I think the, be the one of the best things I learned about this matchup was that neutral, like, spacing your neutral jump H's in this matchup is super hard for Raven to deal with. And the way to just approach it in general, which is just to control the space in front of him. Good recognition that the ball was going to work. So he's actually he's, he's playing this really interestingly now. Hold on. I went back too far. Alright, so he got him in the corner. He side switches. 
Does Ramsey jump low? I don't know why he gets 6P'd. I totally would have. So he jumps in, and then he's playing off this string right here. He's playing off that string that he was playing off a second ago against this Raven player, the 2P5K uh, 2S string. So he jumps in, doesn't double overhead. There you go. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I, I don't know why I didn't point it out the first time. Anyway, jumps in. There you go. 5K 2S. 2P 5K 2S. He's playing around that so that the opponent has a mental idea, or uh, what he what he has is he has a um, not a mental idea, but he has a a mental cue. He's a visual cue. I mean, he has a visual cue on when he wants uh, the opponent to react to something, or he has something like he's. So if you see the this string, then the opponent goes like, "All right, well, he's going to do the string." And then the th last time I got punished, I tried a two S, and then he. Why is he stunaged? So now he knows that he can play around it, and now that he knows that if he does it, he's super afraid of getting pressing a button and then getting hit for it. So Rylan gets all this free pressure from it here. So it starts here. He gets that basically for free. You can get jabbed out of that. Now that was a good jump in. I think he could have probably. He was expecting, I think, for him to jump from jump the fireball here. So he goes for the H1, but he jumps it in time, it just jumps over him. Morrissey's to stay alive, gets counter 5H. Probably is trying to throw, but whatever, it works out. I never use, use knee drop when I play Raven, actually. I probably should. Good conversion. Oh, that's a bad burst. Was he crouching? Hold on. He was crouching. All right. So that's why he was going for that combo. If he so the way the time to burst this one here is I muted it on accident. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. One more time. The close S that was supposed to happen right there. So. Cause he's going for a crouching confirm here, which would have been the close S, far S, 3H, and the greed sever combo. And the time to, to the time to burst that would have been right after the close S hits into the greed sever, not before it, because now he just gets punished. I'm surprised he wire seed that, but he he always had the he always had the contingent plan of throwing, so that's sort of why he did it. Another counter. Man, that's so hard to confirm into. To recognize that you got that counter hit. Because if you do, that's like the that's one of those best starters. Probably up there with like close D or jump D being uh, one of those like those counter hit starters that you don't ever get. But it'd be cool if they were in more scenarios so that you'd be able to recognize it. 5k. He's getting so much mileage off throws now. Because now he's recognizing that uh this Raven's just ready to FD. Um, he's willing to FD and just wait for him to push out with meter. So he's adjusting it a little bit. That's all you got. Doesn't wire see it. He's expecting to run in. That's why he wire see. That's fine. Good recognition. I don't know if I would have gone for the charge stun edge, but it was most it was fine. Because he would have burnt this meter. See? He burned all the meter and then he went for this anyway because he was kinda getting too greedy on the reset. He might have might have been better to just go for the six age. I feel like my brain just doesn't work today, because I'm always resetting him like yeah, it would have been better just to go for the six age afterwards. You would have been able to wire see it as soon as you jumped. There you go. Good job. This Raven player's... He's only 18, Dan, so he's learning. Who is this? No, it says Dira. It's Marahan? Huh. Oh shit, there's some Naga in here too. Sick. 
That's one I really want to go after. Okay. Nice. Try to keep him in the corner. Didn't go too extra on it. I think he planned on wire seeing that and just never did. It was just like, oh, he jumped, whatever. Because otherwise, that's a really scary. Yeah, he's going for that as an answer. I guess. I mean, Soul does have to eat that, but still. I don't know if I'd want a metered answer for that every time. Nice throw. Oh, and he picked it up! Oh my god, that was so sick. I can't believe he picked this up. Oh, that's so sick. That's as best as he was gonna get for, for the recognition, because he, he timed that burst right. I can't believe he got this, that's so sick. So, this is a little bit earlier than you want to do it, because you want to do it on the way up to get this, to hit the DP. But, so that's why he got punished the way he did, but it's not the worst, because he had the RC, and that's all he got out of it, was like that tiny sliver. But still, the recognition there was so crazy. Knock down. I don't know why he pressed the button. I think he was trying to blitz. Did he try to 2k? No, he tried to do something else. I'm surprised he went in for something. Nice back dash. Once you get to about this range, I should be using the 5 second a little bit more. Um, once you get to that range, there's really not much you can do unless he resets the pressure in one way or another. Got him the back dash, backs up, was looking for that Fafnir again. Nice. A bar A2H. Still really good, even though it's not as good. Oh, okay, 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 that was sick. No meter on, no meter on the soul here. So, right when he YRCs this right here, he recognizes that he has no meter to YRC it himself, so he can get the 3H counter hit starter. And that's the juice starter. Look at this. 2H. Knockdown. Look at that. That's great. For no meter? That's so sick. Nice. Guess him to flinch. Kind of lucky, honestly. that. I never used that, actually. Hold on. So he gets lucky he doesn't pick it up because he's way greedy. And then he does the, uh, the side switch trade. Yeah. Instead of going for the charge stun edge, he just goes for the cross-up overhead. Nice. DP, is he gonna get one more loop? Yeah, into the close S. Light air dash. Gets the crouching confirm. It's something I don't do often enough. What do we got? Teresa, nice. So this matchup, um, I've seen some people say that it's in um, Jam's favor. I don't know how much I agree with that. I think I think it's mostly in Kai's favor, like slightly. But it could. I'm. I feel like it's even, actually. I feel like it's even. Her her damage is too good, and she has ways to get around Fireball. Um, she wants to stock DP for the most part. 
because being able to get out of pressure is a great, great answer for her. But then again, like, the way, the reason why, oh shit. The reason why people think this is a bad matchup, that's me, I want it to be a little bit lower than that. The reason why people think it's a bad matchup is because Jam has to go in, and Kai is just so good at keeping people out that want to go in like that. Man, just like, Teresa's a crazy person. He just far, far SRC because he needs to get in somehow. Yeah, this pressure's mad scary. No meter, too? Oh, he gets a counter! If he confirmed... If he confirmed, uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Ryan would have been dead. Nice. Probably hits the uh, 6P. Grounded. Teresa plays is so safe. He had the PRC to open him up. I mean, he did it to keep himself safe, but you know what I mean. Nice punish. He's gonna get shoved out. He's just gonna... yeah. That's fine. Five frame low! Five frame low profile low into an RC. It's really good. Yeah, he's controlling all the pressure. Jump back, heavy punt, or heavy slash. I mean, like, why not? Nice. Yeah, this is smart. Right here. I accidentally muted it again. Oh. Alright, let's see. You already have, uh, she already has cards, so I want to back up a little bit for that. There it is. So you guys like this, like, pretty much max range, um, confirm, and then he knows that if he goes for a card, he can just pretty much backdash unless she, like, dashes up and hits a button in which you're going to air float. Um, so unless Teresa's, like, super on his shit, he's not going to confirm that. I'm going to drop it. I'm dropping some frames now. Great. There we go. All right. Good timing on the burst. Timing burst on Kai is like shouldn't be that hard, but it's super important because it's giving this character free damage is is not what you want to do. I mean, it's not what you want to do versus anybody, but it's like Kai is one huge thing that like really keeps him from being super top tier. Is that his damage is output is mediocre off most starters. He really needs the opponent to fuck up for him to, to get some good damage. It's a scary burst, honestly. But, works out, Teresa. Man! Really making that matchup look like it's in Kai's favor. Ramlethal. This matchup's a little bit in Kai's favor. Nice. She's just like, the reason why is that she can't do shit about this. This sucks. Like, this is like probably like worst case scenario for her. For all our Hamlet is to ever be in Block Sun. Because once she's in Block Sun, like, it, this matchup's over. Is that gonna OTG? Oh, wow. He actually knew that that was gonna steal all that meter. That was so smart. I think Ram spent too much time in the air. It just. Because once he was able to get off the 2H, then he was just like, you know, whatever. Like, I can't control that space underneath him anymore. What a throw break. RCs? Okay, surprise. Because he just gets hit by it, whatever. Gets away with it.
RC. Good chicken. That was good. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's trying to get a blitz out, and that's why he keeps getting hit. But obviously, I can't be for certain. That's that's my only explanation for what's happening. Like why he's just not blocking the uh, seal stunage. Yeah, he's trying to back up to keep him in the corner, but he, she was just so way high up in the air. He totally had the burst read. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he was trying to keep him in the keep her in the corner, but she was just so way high up that Tekken corner room was always going to get her out. Yeah, that six P is slightly better in this version. I like this. That was a really smart RC. It's also a crazy ass combo, and that was a good timing on the burst. That was pretty much all the time in the burst or in the in the combo where he was going to get it for sure. Full meter though, so he's gonna have a dead angle RC. Hella mash that out. RC. Nice. That's the last thing I would expect it to. No meter though. Good job. What? Oh my god! What the f- I just- oh. What? Hold on. So first off, that was smart as hell to hold that burst- blitz- or the burst here? Blitz? I'm freaking out. That blitz? Because he, he, knows, he knows both swords are coming, right? Oh, that's so wild. I can't believe this hits. <laughs> and then he gets the combo off it. He goes straight into the DP because um, he wants to kill. But, I mean, I would have too. I think most players in the entire world would have. But if you want, like, an actual very minute optimization, um, jumping and just going for a jump P would have done also done the same thing and would have been burst safe. So, it's like a might That would have actually won him the match. So, it's like I'm saying that, but at the same time... Um, that's what's, uh, what's up, that would have won in the match, so it's like a little bit of a thing, but most of the time, this scenario is not going to happen. Like, taking that burst like that would have been completely fine. Except for in the case where it would have won you the round. Nice throw. That was just like, that was a straight read. Nice. I'll take that trade, but you have to go straight into the DP if you hit that way high. Oh, the... Nice. Uh, where is it here? I was impressed because he got the jump cancel in here. Where is it? After the 2P here? Or the 6P? Gets the jump cancel, super jump cancel, and then gets all of that. Little maximizations like that are wild. Look at this. Just lost all of her life just by wanting to get out of the corner. And just right on holding his ground. Nice. Yeah. OTG. Yeah. That's pretty much checkmate. Man, 99th second greed server. I mean, he's been playing for like an hour straight now. Wait. Almost an hour straight. Scary burst. Like I said, if you went for the jump P, it would have been burst save. Empty jump low. Woo! Yeah, that's one of the best ways to open this.
Marhan. Early burst. I'm okay with it. I mean, it wasn't gonna do that much damage, but whatever. Man, he's automatic on that confirm. On the 2D and then instant, instantly go for the uh, air dash cross up JD to take corner pressure. I think it exemplifies how Ryan plays this matchup. Or uh, not match up, but his just style in general, I mean. That was mad greedy. I don't know what he was looking for because that was obviously gonna drop. Good. That was another one of those things where you could have gone for something else in, in one. <laughs> Maruhan. Are you going to lose again? Ugh, I'm going to be so sad. Go. Hell yeah. I just want, I want to roll it back there. 2D Antire. That was like really smart, but also really pissed me off. <laughs> nice. Well, I was always blocking low. Side switches first. Is he going to get the quarter comp off this? Yeah. Yeah, he knew he was going to get the uh, seal afterwards, so he just dropped it. That was smart. Just slightly far out to get that close S seal. That was wild. <laughs> the stop sign! Look at this shit. No, sir! I do not want anything you're selling. RCs. Ryan's so clean. Nice. Oh, that, the 2H was a good idea. The 6P would have been a better run. But I don't fault him. I think everybody in the entire world would have gone for that button. Oh my god, why does this do so much damage? I'm afraid. I'm afraid. He has meter too. Uh, why is he going for this? Good starter too. Crouching starter. Or a uh, crouching combo. Hold on, hold on. Alright. We're back in it. My bad. I should move my mouse. What a read. It's like not a worse timing for the burst because JD has a lot of recovery, but it's a good read. Yeah, that's a Marhan round. Just give it. Looking at something else on accident. Well, on accident, but just I'm not good at multitasking as a streamer yet. 
You are really lucky that 2D didn't clip him. Yeah, it just went low. Smart. Didn't block for whatever reason. Boom. Boom. Look at that optimization. Essentially a burst safe combo. That was sick. Slayer? Oh, Nage. Okay. Sick. This is what I, this is the main event, right? Yeah, it looks like it. This is what I wanted. The main event. <laughs> I can't believe he ran all the way up. I think he expected him to jump, which wouldn't have been the worst idea. I am so surprised that burst worked out, honestly. Nice. I like the burst. He was trying to burst him into the bomb. Nage. You wild man. Yeah, he can't float. He can't super crouch that because... Uh, by super crouch, hold on. Man, I'm not clicked on this. By super crouch, I mean he can't like crawl under it, and uh, he can't crawl under it because he had meter. So right here, yeah, he has meter. So if he ever if he wire seed that, he would have just been clipped and taken the full damage. And that's why Nage respected this. Empty jump, five k, nice. Still got all of his meter too. So once he gets a hit, it's gonna be. Oh, the bomb bag delay. Nage, you're so smart. Good throw. Wow, that was wild. Nice. Why is all my name? Alright, nice. That was sick. I definitely would have gone antsy and done a, a stun edge. A stun dipper wire, see there. But he's smart. Hmm, I wonder what that 5D was, or the 5H. Might have been trying to throw. Or just making a super hard read, because if he got a counter hit 5H air in the air, that would have been... It's such a good starter. Oof, exactly what you want, dashing across past the bomb. Oh, what a great read, Nage is... Also on the same wavelength, though. Wow. Can you believe this? This is how crazy... This is how, like, inches this, this fight's going. So he gets the counter here, and actually it's optimal for him to get hit by the weight, because now he gets the run-up. RC. Is he gonna burst this? Oh, he didn't confirm! That's so hard. I- I would- oh my god, he fell on the donuts too! Ah, oh, it's so lucky. Look how much life he got back. Look how much life he got back! Oh. I'm so sad. I'm sad for Ryan. Yeah, this is a real ballsy DP. I don't know what I don't know why he was DPing. I think he was DPing because he expected uh, drill. <laughs> he just got kicked in the mouth. He just got kicked in the mouth. Neutral jump age is not good in this matchup. <sighs> Faust has so many options for all the ranges that Kai uh, operates at when he tries to neutral jump age. 
5k, jump H, both just straight blow that shit up. Yeah, this is a this is the end of the video, so I think this is the last of our hero. Where the hell's my cat? Oh, he's outside. I might have to go get him in a second. Yeah, give me a second, huh? I might have to stop the stream in a second just so I have a clip of this. I'll make it easier to edit. And then I'll go grab my cat and then I might come back. I'll probably not, actually. I mean, we'll see. Super Crouch is under. I like it. Naga's defense is so strong. Almost comboed off it like a crazy person. And he, he, I think, got hit out of the startup. I'm so unfortunate he got thrown out of that. Why did he get hit by? Right on. Well, it took a cal caliber level of Faust play from him in order to to order to lose. So real quick. Well, since I'm just cutting this off here. Now, uh, it's thanks to Silva. So, I'm going to leave her information in the in the description of the video that I put up on YouTube. Give her a follow, please, because she's very kindly been a, uh, lending me her videos in order to just go over and do this sort of thing. So, yeah, please follow her on YouTube, where you're going to find all, like, this 